Hi guys, Viper here and welcome to the channel. Now today's video is a little bit different to what we had planned. Now I know in the last video we said that we were going to extend out a bit more, secure ourselves within our places, but the degenerates right next door to me have uh, declared war. Now let's load up the game and get into it. That's the one, yeah that's the one there. So we'll load this up. And here we are back on our world now i was going to go from 2230 to 2250 as you can see i practically sorted out all my resources got them all underway i've got spare building slots at the minute but i'm not worrying about that because i'm still like get it so we've got a good stats but as i was doing that these slimy buggers here decided to attack us declared war on us so i didn't plan on this to happen just yet I was going to be doing the archaeological site bid. So I'm going to start that right now and get it out of the way. When you come across an archaeological site like so, you click on it, and as you can see, this pops up. Now, for now, you can't do nothing. So you want to get a science ship. Where is this science ship, actually? Where's this one from there? We'll get this one here. And we want to tell it to come over here and start excavating this site. Now, when you've done the first phase of excavating, this will pop up again, but it'll say like continue. Sometimes it will not continue on. And you'll be thinking, why is that not doing that? So you will actually have to go into the system, go to it. You may be able to do it from outside most times, but you need to go into the system, click on it. Now I'm just, it's not this. I'm just using this as an example. The, the archeological site is uh, there. So go to your archaeological site and you'll have your science ship above it doing this little science thing, scanning the planet. You need to click on it there and do it again. I don't know why it does that. I think it's when you have like quite a few on it because I have uh, more events mod on when I play it. And obviously you don't have it on Iron Man because it won't allow it. But it's like every other system's got an archaeological site on more events mod. But as you can see, we've got that one there. So what's going to happen is the science ship is going to go over to it. Because as you see, I've discovered someone else here, but I'm already set that up. The science ship's going to go over to it. It's going to do the first phase of scanning and then it'll come up. Hopefully it'll come up like this. We won't say discovered. And we can click on it and we can say continue. It doesn't usually work sometimes for me that. Like say, especially when I have more events mods on. And I've got like five or six doing it at once on archaeological dig. Then... It does tend to not continue on and you'll have to go and sort it out. You'll know when your science ship is just like doing the archaeological symbol, it's there, like so. And it'll, that won't even be going up like these two have. So if that bar, progress bar has not made no progress at all whilst it's been doing it, then you'll need to go to the planet and do it or just click on it again and make sure that it is doing it and continue it. That's, that's the problem I've come across, but that might just be because of the more events mod that I play with when I'm playing the game, so... But that was what the video was going to be about. And then once you've completed the archaeological dig site, you go to our traditions and go to relics. You'll have a relic if you find a relic. Now, I got this relic because of another thing, I, another event within the story. Now, I did that within the space because, as you can see, I've only been doing 13 years since the last video where I ended it because I was hoping to get up here to get this one as well because, as you can see, there's a station there, which is probably the traders. Most likely it will be the traders. And then we can get that in our system. And then I would have had two archaeological dig sites. But as I was doing that, well, oh, sorry, let me just say this first. And then you'll get, if you find a relic, you come to your relics. And then all you've got to do is click it once you've got the stuff. And then you'll get whatever it is, as you can see, enables Pox Abilitable, sorry, Pox Orbitable Bombardment Stance. Increased the likelihood of discovering biotechnologies. Leader lifespan plus 20 years. So, it's not too bad, but I'm not going to be using that one. I just got that so I could show you it in case these did declare war on me when I found them because they weren't too friendly with me. So, as soon as I came in contact with them, this was at like minus, I think it was 60, because it, it came up the event where you want to guess their language and one's an insult and one's not an insult and i did it and i insulted them because i said <laughs> most of the time I'm, I'm like 50 50 on that i get it right i get it wrong and on that time i got it wrong and 
I insulted him and it went to like minus 60, 70 or something. Then I put a, an envoy on him to try and get him back up, like what I did with the Commonwealth of Man. As I said in the other video, and I put the envoy in that and it went up and they would not have it. And then they sent me an insult. And as soon as they sent me the insult, I knew then, oh no. And then I got this pop up, which is, it's not this one, but another one pops up and it said, uh, a nation is preparing war goals against us. And then literally three months later, they declared war. So the situation that it is at the minute is not the situation I was leading up to. I was leading up to doing the archaeological dig site and spreading out. See, there's another one there, see? And spreading out and expanding. Now, how I've done the game setup in my other videos is purely a science run build. So I would not recommend that you get into a war this early in the phase in the game if you're doing the science build like I do. Now, I'm going to have to swap everything over and to build it so like I've got my war set up but we'll go through the war now the first thing that you've got to do is set your war goals so as soon as they declared war last night I came out of it so I can show you this so our war goals are it's this it's all we can choose so we're going to have to choose this set war goal war is waged to undermine the enemy so that's what we're going to do so we're going to set that war goal and now we are at war so the first thing that we want to do is go to our stations make sure every single one has got a shipyard an anchorage and a shipyard you don't really need anchorage but i would definitely recommend it because as you can see it gives you more naval capacity which is this so if i was to build another one of these i'll get another four so I can have 32, because I'm at 30 at the minute. That's because I'm building ships, because as soon as it came up, I knew that they were going to declare war with me. So, first things first, is make sure all your stations have at least got shipyard and anchorage. I got the hydroponics, because that's how I use my food at first. Each one of my stations is at first. I also built another two stations, as soon as, as I knew that someone was going to declare war with me. So I'm one underneath my limit. Now that's so that I can put another one down if I need to and defend off a bit of space or something. So first thing I'm going to do is shipyard anchorage. And because I am struggling with food, I'm going to be sticking down another hydroponics bay. And the same on the other station, do the same, shipyard anchorage, hydroponics bay. Now you should really go crew quarters. That's what I usually do first on this, so as you can see. Provides accommodation and support for spaceship crews. Reducing the logistical burden on fleets. So when you put your navy like to that station to repair, upgrade, or get just re refit, get more ships in it, or restock your ships, resupply them, re like you no, know, see back up to your command limit on your things. So it's like, see there now, it's 28 or 30 as on my last game before I came off, or last video, sorry. I think it was 18 I was on. I can't remember because as soon as he declared war, I started, I started trying to sort all the stuff out. So straight away, ditch from station is the only way that they can come into my space here. You see, I'm all closed off. So I've got a station at Dimtry. Ditch him, sorry. And one at, well, I've not got one at Bregla, but I will be putting one at Bregla because not only is it there so close to my main system, Sirius, which is so close to my soul system, my home base, it's also got a gateway. And later on, I don't know where that's going to go. So if that's in an alien space and they're not friendly with them, then they've got a straight joint point to my space. So I will be doing another one in this station. So this is also going to be taken up. And then when that's upgraded, I'll also put shipyard, anchorage, and probably a hydroponics bay. I probably won't need it in a minute. But that's basically what you really need to do to start getting to get to get like underway. Also, another thing I recommend is you go to each every single one of your planets when you're in a war and you want to build a stronghold. Go down. Stronghold. Soldiers increase naval capacity and spawn defense armies. You want to stick one of these down on every place as soon as you go to war. I don't have these built at the beginning because of the obvious reason that I was doing a science build. Now I'll do another run of where I just rush through and do a science build because it's not gone the... Oh, no, I don't want to build resource silos. It's not gone the uh, ideal way that I intended for the video. 
This one's going to have to wait, Halvan Prime, because I'm not going to knock down either one of these two, because these are building me pops up quicker. I've got a bit of minerals now, because you can see I focused on the minerals, like I said. The power's down a bit, I'm going to have to focus on that next. Food's getting done with the upgrading of these stations, which are all going to build hydroponics bays, but I've got 4.5 thousand. It's not going to have to wait at 5. Finally got these under control, consumer goods. My alloy's not doing too bad, get that up there a bit more. Influence, as you can see, my non-aggression pack, migrant pack, commerce pack, my rival rep, because as soon as they declared rival, me a rival, I declared them a rival, and if you declare somebody a rival, you get plus half of one. It used to be one, so that's changed. I'm at war with EC, diploma set, and does it say it? It doesn't say it because I'm not at them, so let's go back. Let's just choose these. So if I was to declare rival, it won't tell me. But if I was in bad relations with these, I could declare them a rival, and then it would give me half of one influence. It used to be one. We used to got one influence for a rival. So their rival with 0.52, and then the power projection. That's of your ships, your fleet. So if you've got like a big um, navy, sorry, a big navy. You can get it up to two, so you can get two. Now, the reason why I've got 563 is because I didn't want to push out so quick and claim all this space because I was struggling with resources and stuff, and I didn't want to overburn the supply of my ports. Now, these probably declared war on me straight away because of this road deposit that's there. I, that's what I'm thinking because it is a high value resource in my eyes. That nanites and living metal, they're hardest ones to get I, I, I would say the dark matter you get from black holes like that one there might have one more than likely will have one but if not there'll be there's another one down here that's going to have it is that an L gate that is an L gate so I'm going to have to push for the L gate I'll close up these whilst we're at war when we construction ships and science ships because I'm going to have to pull them back a bit their naval capacity is overwhelming compared to mine it says equivalent, but as you see, their fleet power is superior. But we're going to do something about that, and we're going to change it. So let's get on with it. So here we are. Our fleet is here. We've got no ships in transport. Now, when we come to a planet, which is not this one, has he got a planet here? No, he's not got a planet in there. Not that one. Right, let's just go here, right? We'll go here to his home system. When we attack his planet, I'm not surveyed it, right, so I can't see it, I've not even got there yet. But let's just say, for example, this is his home planet, right? When we get to his home planet and we start bombarding it, we're going to have to send a navy, uh, an army over. We can't just attack with our ships and then claim the planet. You need to send over men. So what I will do is I will go to my soul system, probably me off of Centauri as well, ignore these because I'm going to be doing all these events with me. I don't actually have to go to the Sol Station, I can just got this up. I'm going to go over to armies. Now you see, these are our planetary guard. But I'm going to recruit two. So we'll recruit two armies. These will appear in our orbit in, orbit, in transport ships. So, let's get on with it. First fleet moving here. Let's see what's going on. But, now that they've declared war on us, what we also can do is, is claims. Now I've got, 563 influence so I can claim this system here for 40 influence to base it, it costs 50 but because it's my rival I get 20% off so I'm going to claim that and I'm going to make that claim and now when I go into this system capture it, kill everything in it and because I own it and I claimed it, when the war is over I will gain this space I'm pretty sure that if you do not claim it when the war is over, you will not get it. But if you claim it and you capture it, you'll get it. If you claim it and you don't capture it, and the war is over, and you win, and you will not claim it. You need to claim the system with your ships and fleets. Hold that system to the end of the war, and then when the war is over, you will claim the space that you have obviously fought and won in. Now, I'm pretty sure that's how it still is. It might... Not me, but I'm pretty sure that is still how it is. So I get our first fleet, we've got a commander. Let's get on with it. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Aye, knowledge is power. 
power is king. So because we're at war, we are going to need to deal our ships. Now, this is so good. FTL inhibitors, this stops them from like warping over to our place with warp drives later on. But I'm not going to go for that just yet. I'm probably going to have to go for deflectors. I'm keeping that on. I'm going to keep that on because that means I can change my people. A special so, project has going to be quite a power on this. We're going to have a bit of archaeological Engaging stuff in it. Hostile forces. We're going to have a bit of well, quite a lot of war in it. And we're going to have a little bit of gene modification. But I might just do a little video on that anyway. So here we are in this system. This is just nobody's really. Anomalous readings registered. So station down now. Blocker cleared. Let's pause it there for a minute. As you can see now, this is my system. It's not technically mine yet. As you see, it's still in their space. But I have fought and won in that system and claimed that system. But because they thought they could bully me, I'm going to go over to our shipyard and I'm going to build one Corvette. You'll see why in a minute. Also, I've not actually got anything yet from the upgrade, so we'll leave that. Any science ship? Where's that science ship there? So that's doing that. So I'm going to pull this back. Anomalous no, readings don't need to pull it back. Construction completed. We will pause it there because. I need to do stuff for my fleet. Can't go up there because there's space amoebas. He's doing a research anomaly and that's a special project. So there's a special project and an anomaly. So there's two things that that's doing, that science ship, as well as surveying that system. We've got a time product. So, time product, sorry. We've got a timed event. So I'm going to get this science ship and then we're going to go over here and we are going to do the research project in that sector. Continue on with this. Archaeological dig is doing, as you can see, he's actually doing it, so we know that's working. Why is that? Oh, yes. Now, as you can see, on this one here, I've built some defensive platforms. So I tend to go for quite a few different designs on defensive platforms. So I've got my light station, which I'm going to change. It's going to be my point defense. Now, people don't really rate these, but if they attack you with missiles and stuff, missiles and little light craft and that, you're going to want these. Armor, armor, shield, oh. deflector, sorry. What are we on? 380, 1,700. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have that, why not? We've only got the reactor booster, which we're going to have to change in a minute anyway because of all this lot. But I'm just going to change this. And this is my AA pad because it's my air defense. I want to save that. Next one. So have I got the hangar section? I have. So hangar. Hangar. No, I'm probably going to have to change these in a minute anyway because I'm going to get the advanced thrusters and that. This is strike pad. I don't know why my I and my K doesn't work sometimes. Strike pad, save that. And then we're going to have a defense pad, which is my heavy and a medium. Now, later on, I'll have heavy two and medium two, but at the beginning here now. We don't really want to be uh, overwhelming ourselves, you know, with uh, the energy it costs to keep these up. Because every time I build one of these, it requires energy. So, I have to bear that in mind, see? Buildings, stations, star bases, districts, pops, armies, and ships. And as you can see, with ships is the one that's costing me quite a fair bit. Now, also on my game when I was here, as you can see, there was, this wasn't here, this part. You couldn't get up here to this capital. I know that's their capital because I played with them. So, this came about because of a series of events that I did. And then it popped up. And I went and captured it straight away because, look, there's 14, 14 on each science. I'm just going it. It's got 14, 14, and 14 on each science. Just that one planet. 
So I was like, wow, we had to go there. So I had to capture that. Plus it's another way into my system from the Commonwealth of Man. But because I'm so highly liked with the Commonwealth of Man now and our rapport with them is so good, we won't have to worry about them. We could get them to come into a defenseless pack with us, but the problem with that is then that, one, you'll lose more of your influence, and two, it's, uh, you'll have to defend them. You know, like if someone attacks them, and they say, if you want to take that up, if you want to do that, then so go ahead, ride ahead. But I, this is the main reason why I didn't do a defensive pack with them, because I didn't want to go into, end up into a war. We got 28, okay. So, let's go to our next bit of space. We're going to head straight Research in there concluded. get into it. So this prime archaeological dig site. No way. Well, it has as well. So, as you can see, now Scott sat. Sirius has now got an archaeological dig site as well. We've got research, which is our iron thrust off. So, first thing we're going to do is change that. And look at that cruiser's right there. Nice. Free emergency modification. So, yeah, I can reactivate this relic, but I'm not going to because it costs 3,000 a year. You know, and well, that's loads, and I'm not going to use it just for that because all it does is pox bombardment. Close them down. Archaeological site can close down. Is that that one in this system? Yes, that's that science ship going to that. All my ships are doing everything. My second fleet is up. Now, straight away, what I'm going to do is recruit a new admiral, see what it gives us. Leader cost and upkeep cost. Not that good. It's all right, but nah. That's not a bad one. And, well, it's up to you what you want. If you like that or not. It's like, do you want to run from a fight? Get a better chance of running away from a fight? I'm not going for that though, I'm going to go for this one. For the crew here. And then I'm going to go straight to Fleet Manager and I'm going to add ships. So, Corvette's already there, so destroyer. So we're going to want a few destroyers. And a couple of Corvettes. We've added them ships to the fleet design. And then when we click on that ship next, we can upgrade it. But first, what I'm going to do is go to your Corvette. And I'm going to change this to a nuclear missile launcher. And we are going to save that. And I'm also going to check on my destroyer. Nuclear missiles gonna ship. Okay. Right, so we're gonna make a new destroyer here. We're gonna go artillery. So we've got a bit of hefty big boys. Something that's got large, you know. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Something that's got large. You know, sort of space for your weapons. So, we'll stick one of each on. It'd probably be better to go. I'm going blue laser. No, it is. It's better to do the blue lasers. So the flatters will do three of each. I don't really need to do that because I'm doing the reactor burner. And let's just call this Ohio class. For all you yanks out there. So what I'm quickly going to do is, because this fleet I upgraded it, I'm going to go quickly back into my fleet manager. I'm going to get this class of destroyer. I'm going to take that down four. And I'm going to add another ship design. I'm going to add four of these ones. As you can see, two fleets need to be reinforced with 23 ships. And it will cost 3,505. We can currently afford to reinforce 23 ships for 3,505. So, do we want to reinforce all of our fleets? That is, not just this one fleet. All of our fleets. But if you want to do just the one fleet, come here and just click on Reinforce. And we're going to reinforce this fleet. Now this one is going to be our second attack team that I'm going to be sending in with my army. Assault, there it is, my transport armor. One fleet. So they've got two on? Yeah, it has. We'll assign a general. See what they do. Leader experience? Nope. Army morale? That's a good one. Morale and damage? Even better. We'll take that. We'll have you, mate. General Yu Lin. <laughs> Let's see if you can, eh? And we're still in transport to the next system. The special project has concluded. Engaging hostile station. 
Knowledge is the key to the universe. As you see, I'm going through it quick as easy now because I don't want you to be stuck on the same thing. Now, as I'm in a war, I'm going to be taking war stuff at the minute. Research concluded. So, claim an influence cost. Nice. We'll take that because we're now in this system. We've got to our claims, and I'm going to claim this system and make claim. So now I have this system and this system. Now, just see, we're coming up to a bit of a choke point here. Now we've got here, which goes up this way. Goes over that way, goes down this way. We are going to go straight for their capital. They want to declare war. We'll let them know why we're the humans, eh? They've got oil over there, boys. <laughs> so, science ship, let's get on with it. Have we got any events around here that we need to do? Quick gander. Don't think we have. No, we're not. So, I'm going to tell him to go straight to Sirius and start using this S. Sign. Now, as you can see, nothing has come up for our excavate site, has it? You know, like I was saying before, and if you look, the archaeological dig site is false, it's not doing nothing. Well, what? Nope, sorry, wrong one. Ignore that. I thought it was that shit. Never mind, ignore me. We'll talk about that when it does it, but. Time project is the destruction of the ship, which is where that other science ship's going to, which I thought was the uh, archaeological dig site, but it's not. It's the one that is actually doing it. That's the one that I thought I was clicked on, but I wasn't. <laughs> so, never mind. But, as you can see, we're going into systems, attacking systems, taking out the enemy in their, or their bases in the system, and then the system becomes ours now i've claimed this system now that's just about me relic i'm not doing that again this moving is ships moving from your star bases to the fleet that you've just upgraded now don't worry about these being separate because i don't know why they are separate oh they're not i found them that's why these are new ships that i've come across whilst exploring you will have events like this every now and then i'm just going to tell them to come straight into it and the science ship there doing the archaeological dig so straight away i'm going to go straight in here which will stop him from completing his archaeological dig hopefully we can in, like interrupt it so to say straight back to our planets now i'm going to upgrade the, if you got the opportunity to upgrade your gene clinics and do it i've got no minerals for this one is it oh no i need exotic gas is actual fact because i'm in war i'm not going to be messing about with that just yet Sack that off and stop that for now. I am not messing about with that at the minute. Whilst we're in a war, I will stick. Oh no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to do nothing in a minute. At the minute, I'm going to focus on the war and show you the understandings of the war. So, as you can see, these have got quite a lot of space, and at the minute, we're winning in our war goals. Oh no, sorry, that's that exhaustion in it. Is that exhaustion? I'm sure it is exhaustion. As you can see, at the minute, It's not going too good. A relative measure of the war exhaustion suffered by the attackers and defenders in this war. So I have a higher war exhaustion because I'm attacking and I'm using my ships whilst attacking places, which is obviously making me lose the odd ship every now and then. As you can see, I'm no longer at full fleet capacity. It's at 28 30. So that's why I'm at less, but as soon that's why my war exhaustion is more than theirs, and that's why theirs is less than mine. But as soon as we have a fight one their fleets and we win, that, that will change. It's because at the minute we're doing this. So first thing I'm gonna do is come in here and make sure there's no planet. There's no planet. That um, navy's moving down. And I am now going to get my army, which is in these two transport ships. And I'm going to send them just to there for now, in my space. And do you know what? I will also go to Sirius and I shall also build. Oh, wrong button, sorry. I clicked on the wrong thing there. <laughs> Recruit. I'm going to build another two armies here. And then we'll have them join up with these, shift them together, you know, shift tab, right click on both, merge. And then we can get that underway. Now, this is basically 
how you do the war. So the goal, the goal of the war is to have less war exhaustion Engaging the than the opponents. The opponents. So system survey concluded. Let's just construction completed. To find a planet of theirs that we can just bombard, and I can show you that. Research that. Research that. Archaeological dig site has come up. It has told us that it's continued on, but like I said, just keep your eye on it to make sure that that does come up. And close all these because they're just surveys, construction, fleet combat. A resolution has been passed. So that would be my resolution that I put forward, which was the boost to science, I think it was. Resolutions. What was that? Was it commerce? No, it wasn't commerce. It was technology. So it was technology. It was one of these anyway. I put forward a motion straight away last night. It was industrial development. I put again that up yesterday, which gave us a bonus of work output and diplomatic weight from our economy. Now, as soon as the Galactic Foundation was founded, I put that up straight away because I had the available influence because it does cost you influence to do them. Put them on, a, put the resolutions up for the Senate floor and that. But we'll talk about that when we do get around to doing federations in a more like in-depth sort of way. Now, as you can see, we've got three systems here, but I want to claim that system. So we'll claim and we'll claim this system. And if I am correct, there is a planet there. No, nope. thought there was. What's this? A science ship. So that's a science ship. So there's an archaeological dig there. Now you have a dilemma. Should we go down here? Or should we go up here? Now obviously we've got to go up here. There's a transport fleet there. We need to select. Right, so I've got. I'm going to go send my navy here because there is a. Oh, oh then again. Maybe not. What's my fleet power at? So 1.8. So if I go in there and attack them orga space organics, they're not the enemy that I'm attacking. So is it worth me risking my fleet? Don't think it is. That science ship there is going to get away. Of course it is. So, our salt fleet. Not yet built. Still building stuff. Still building ships. We got that there to be built and a destroyer there to be built and then we should be done and these ships are, are on our way to the second fleet join up with that and then we'll have another fleet of ships to send in we'll send them up here the Dittrim with our army that is there and then we shall go up and I'll show you about orbital bombardment bombing a planet landing armies and capturing and holding the planet now there's a good chance that when I move here now which I can't, I'm going to have to go here. That's a bit narter. So I'm going to wait for my other ships to be done before I actually go and do that, but I will capture these in the meantime. The special project has concluded. So this is a little event where you can either go and capture people or not the rescue them. Sorry, has not concluded. capture them. People have been captured and you can go and rescue them. Now, it's up to you if you want to go and rescue them. I usually tend to do it, but you do have to go and find out where the station is. It will tell you once you've done a certain amount of it, but... At the minute, we're a little bit busy with uh, war. So, I was giving out the science to make sure they're actually completed. doing something. Survey that. This science ship can get down here and survey that one. We've got to our construction ship. And we shall build these because we're not going to be doing anything else for the meantime. As we build up our system, fortify ourselves within the space that we've got, sort out this alien race and let them know that we mean business and you can't just bully us. Now, as you can see, I've built nothing, but yeah, my power's now at minus 30. That's because my ships is now on 54. So, we need to either build more power stuff, which is what we're going to do. Oh, destroy some ships. And we're not going to destroy some ships because that would just be stupid, wouldn't it? We're in a warp. So, as you can see, I've got no spots here. Next place, I've got seven. We will stick down one of these here. Next place, six. Yeah, for now we will. Nine, definitely. Stick one down there. Another one here. Another one here. Now you may be thinking, 
You told us not to build walls. Yes, I did. But you could probably build about, once you get later on in the game, like now, you could build about 10 things at once. But as long as you realise that one of them is going to use about, say, 6 power, so 10 of them is going to obviously use 6 there. But because I'm building power plants, it doesn't obviously matter. Well, energy things. So, our fleet is... Oh, fleet, sorry. Our energy will hopefully sort itself out as soon as that's done. Our second fleet has now got 19 of the 30 ships. We have another 5 on the way. We'll just quickly do that. We'll quickly do this. An alien nation it. is hailing us. We have encountered spaceborne life forms. Interstellar debris analyzed. Now we've come across another life form, so we need to send another envoy to this so we can find out who these are. Hopefully they'll be friends. They do look like a, a race that I've come across before, but I don't know the name of, so. They are a playable species, I mean. But I can't remember the name of them. Oh, I made a cup of tea. I forgot I had a cup of tea. Hmm. Majestic. Now, as you can see, our science ship is here, so I'm going to send our science ship just to there. This means that I can send my neighbor, oh, I can send my neighbor to here. So, is that the crashed starship? No way. It is the crashed starship sign. So as soon as my spice, uh, science ship has got to here, and it explores this space, not surveyed it, because I can't, because it's in someone else's territory, but explored it, I mean, I can see it, basically. Then I can move up my navy, and we can go straight onto their capital. Is that their capital? We can't tell, can we? So, we can go over it. Now, I, on the situation, like, uh, the con contacts here. What I've done is, as soon as I started getting all the insults and all off, and I started establishing a science spy network I started to build a spy network in their place so if you can or if you want to you can also put a spy network up on like when you revivals and that you can do it with other people as well but it will, if you get caught you risk uh, infect, affecting your relation with them so that's something to think about if you are going to go and do that stuff just knowledge is the key to the universe. So as we're doing this, we're still getting all our knowledge and research done, which is giving us better technology on our ships, and we've soon got the cruiser, which means we can have strike craft on our core. Where is this? I was looking at something else then when I did that. So let's just build all the stuff that we need to build here for now. So then we're not gonna come back later. Like so. I can do that. I'm waiting on them ships to reinforce that Locker fleet. Cleared. Which they have done. System survey concluded. Construction mm. completed. And then there, like that. The archaeological site is done again. That's the other one, not the one that we started on. That was the one at Sirius, sorry. You can't go that way because of space and baddies. Oh no, it's nice, it's that species that we we're talking to at the minute. So, we are going to push on up now with our science vessel. They're our military. Oh, we've got two fleets here. We have got two fleets here. We're going to go straight to Jamor. Engaging hostile station. I'll go up there, capture that, and then we'll just start our little bombardment, and you'll be able to see the uh, start of uh, capturing a planet. And, well, basically, starting owning people's. basically winning the war. Now, as you can see, our stuff's gone up a little bit on the uh, exhaustion, but we are now bombarding the city. So, what was I about to do then? I was about to. Can't exactly remember what I was about to do then on that. But as you come into this system here now, you see we've got quite a few things here. So we'll get our ships to attack these and take that out. Whilst that's doing that, we shall get. Not just yet, we'll wait for our science. I'm going to sell these two armies to come straight over here. I'm going to send this armor to come straight over here. And I'm going to send my second fleet, which is the fleet that we built, straight to here. 
This will block off this area here in case someone wants to come up and ca recapture these parts here, which I'm not going to have. That's what I was going to do. I was going to claim these territories. I'm going to claim that. I'm going to claim that. And I'm going to claim that. Because then, once the war's over, I can cut all this off with that one there for this lot. And this one here for this lot. Now, later on, when I start coming down here, I will capture more and claim some more. But as you can see, that's going to cost 340. Now I've claimed them, I need to capture them. So as soon as I have a military, neither, get us here. We sh oh my god, scientists died, did they? Yeah, scientists did die. So I'll recruit scientists, another one, uh, archaeological one, that's Sander. And let's give it site continue on. As you can see, it continued on from where it left off. It's not done it again from the beginning. I'm going, I can't go, why can't I go there? Are you saying because it's a science ship? Whatever. Do you know what? That's being stupid, that science ship. I don't know what's up with it. This construction ship is done. So we'll move this over here and capture this. I'll move there just for now because I just noticed how much my influence is at. Now, because these are like attacking this. Now, we've come to the phase where we are at their base. Now, you can go and attack their base and land your men on where they've only got two armies of. But, that's not what I would recommend. What I do and what I recommend is you get your fleet, you come over and you bomb the planet. Now, as you see here, you've got a tap target. Orbital Bombardment and Fleet Stance. Orbital Bombardment, moderate damage to armies, moderate damage to planet. Will not bombard undefended planets and will not kill the last 21 pops. Let's click that again. Heavy damage to armies, heavy damage to planet, moderate damage to pops. Will bombard undefended planets, will not kill the last 11 pops. They declared war on me, so I'm going to heavy bombard A their planet. A new world has been colonised. As we were doing that, another world was colonised. So straight away, either gene cl clinic or robot assembly plant. I'm going to do robot assembly plant because it's just right there and it's easy and handy. We'll get the science ship doing nothing because it's that one there that's stuck and doing nothing. And that one can come over here and build. Build an outpost boy. Science is also done, which is our influence on war cost. And I'm going to go for naval capacitor. Five months, we've got cruisers, which means we'll have carrier cores. So when the cruisers are all uh, up and running, and like you see, I had two different ships set up for destroyers. Well, I have an artillery core carrier, a hangar, uh, not hangar, carrier core carrier, an artillery core carrier. And then I just have like a strike core carrier, which is like medium mounts with some missiles on it because later on in the game I won't use any of the other ships so it'll just be Titans, Battleships, Cruisers I'll probably have like three or four Corvettes and Destroyers but it's not many, it's mostly everything else now as you see as we're bombing this planet it's going down the armies are now at 94 so we're going to speed it up here a bit until our armies arrive System survey concluded Whilst that's bombing the hell out of that place an alien nation is hailing us. Senate is in session, I'll do that. Let me just quickly see what the Senate is doing. The Reddit Shield. The universe is a dangerous place, and all members of the Galactic community should be ready to defend their world against pirates. So we'll get that. Plus 5% of the ship upkeep, but your naval capacity is up by 10. So yeah, we'll support that, why not? Now later on you'll see that I'm like 10 times as much as these on the support, so don't worry about all the stuff in the early game. Because later on once you get everything set up and running then you'll be able to actually set everything up. So you can like actually win the vote just on your decision alone, so that's later on though, that's nothing that we need to worry for about now. Now as you can see we are happily bombing out this city, planet, sorry. Bomb the hell out of this place. Research Wait till that's go down. We'll get the. Oh, I just got cruisers there, so. Construction completed. Knowledge is the key to the universe. 
Oh wait, can't believe I had that then. <laughs> so we've got a rare technology here, so I'm probably gonna have to do that. Cause it's gonna, well, it's not gonna go, but no, we'll go this Corvette build speed because we are in a war after all. And we shall go fusion reactor. Whilst that's doing that and bombing that out, we'll quickly do a tour with our science vessels since they are actually doing nothing. This one can't do anything for some mad reason, don't know why. Let's stay there then. Uh, our science ship is just done that, so we'll come over here and do that. And this one is having a chill out, doing nothing. Right, as you can see now, we have our transport fleets in the space. I'm gonna just speed it up a bit. Oh, is this? oh ships. I was gonna say, oh, they're 355 and they ain't. So, what I'm gonna do here is to speed it along, which I don't usually do. What I usually tend to do is I usually tend to wait for my ships to bombard out the planet. But, as you can see, they're gonna take quite a while bombing that place out there as they're bombing this out you can see it's going down but let's see what happens if we was to add one of these two let's land our armies on this planet and we'll have a quick look as you our can forces see. are making planet fall now it's gone to a different screen so these are us Oh no, that's them, sorry. This is us, and this is them. We've got two, they've got one. As you can see when it first came up, some of theirs have died. So will our two men feet them once? Construction completed. No. But, Construction completed. as you can see, they're not doing too well now, are they? So what we shall do is just close that for now, get that doing. We'll just sit here for a bit. Our invasion is over because we didn't win. But let's help that along, eh? Let's get this fleet, tell them to also bombard on a heavy barbell stance, and it'll speed it along a bit more. Now, I'm just going to quickly rush this here so you can see what's going on. Uh, yeah, what keeping jobs is the one we want. Well, I just said I could do it. That's quite a minute. Yeah. Continue doing that, nearly done. System survey concluded. Now just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it like this and not do nothing else at the minute, just so I can show you this. Situation log has been updated. As you can see we nearly took the planet. Now I don't recommend you stand here and like do all for it. An alien nation is hailing us. And like do nothing else, I don't recommend you do that. But because this video's got so long, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. As you can see, I'm doing loads of stuff as it's doing it. They're at 10%. So now, because they're at 10%, and like we're not gonna lose that, come on, let's be honest. We'll get our remaining army. And we shall land on the planet. So let's land on the planet. Our forces are making planet fall. And now we have successfully invaded. And as you can see, their armor is now ours. So now we have captured this planet. We have captured their home planet in their system. Now, as you can see, my war exhaustion has still gone up. So what we need to do now is basically get this down. So our attrition is 49%. That's what's hurting us so much. So what we're going to do here then guys is we are going to leave the video there because this has gone on for way far too long now but we're going over a bit of the archaeological dig site and how to do that and we've also gone over to invade space claim space bombard planet and capture a planet for ourselves now we own these three systems so long as we can keep these three systems so in the future game we need to make sure that our attrition is less so we're going to have to try and get this number down because it is our you know what I mean it's like not doing too good we've won all them wars took them planets and we're losing 
know what I mean? It's like, wow. So we're going to have to go and uh, occupy a few more of these planets down here. This is now their capital. So this could have just been a cluster. No, like a sector. Sorry, not a cluster. Sector. Could have been part of a sector. So in our next video, we're probably going to push down here a bit more. Take out some more of this. Continue on with this war. I shall play about another four years on, say. Sort out all the science stuff that's going on. Because like while I was invading that planet, I kind of left everything. So that we could... Uh, so that we could basically get the video over with. Because uh, it's been going off quite well now. I know you guys have probably got bored listening to me waffling on <laughs> about war and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Uh pop a comment down in the comments if you would like for me to see something else or something that I missed out regarding the war thing like the main thing to think of focus on is the war attrition taking planets winning battles as you can see my main thing at the minute is me attrition and my troops but they've got a minus 11 cent because of a planet so we're going to take these out in the next video but that's the video guys uh, thank you very much for watching before I do go a quick word from the sponsor the like button <laughs> so I'll go down there give them a smash to let him know that you liked the video. And for you legends out there that have subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. And this is Viper signing out, and I shall see you all in the next video. This is Viper, out.